Yo, what's going on guys, it's Cryptic TMG and I'm back with a brand new video and this video is going to be all about the car balancing in the GT3 class and hopefully, hopefully the cars are a lot closer. Um, obviously, after the latest patch, um, some cars have been nerfed, some cars have been slowed down, some cars may be more competitive. So I'm going to test that. Um, I'm not going to run default setup. I'm going to run um, setups on each car, setups that I've worked on. I've done quite a few laps, probably 20, 25 laps on each car. So yeah um hopefully it's an accurate representation of where the cars are i'm going to be doing that at catalonia because the track's got a little bit of everything so hopefully hopefully we can get get it done and um let's see how we go so today i'm going to be doing the first eight gt3 cars which i think the first one will be the nsx and the last car will be the ferrari 488 gt3 and then tomorrow i'll be doing the other eight gt3 cars to see where they're at so yeah starting off with the nsx and this is the lap i managed to put in So managing a 145.205, um, yeah, handling, it, it's, it's a nice car, it feels very stable, but it, it does sort of feel pretty heavy on the wheel, so that's why I marked it sort of a 6 out of 10. Um, decently put down the, down the straight, but let's move on to the next car, which is the Aston Martin, and yeah, <laughs> check this one out, crazy.
Now the Aston Martin only hit a 47.1, I actually did do a 46.9 but I forgot to record it so I went with the uh, 47.1 and obviously really fast down the straight but in terms of handling the car is just, it's almost undrivable. I don't even know why they bothered to put it on the game, it's shocking. The only reason why I gave it sort of a 0 0.5 is because it sounds nice, other than that to me the car's trash and there's just no point in the car being in the game. But moving on to the next car, which is the Audi R8, which I've been spending lots of time in um, racing with AOR. And yeah, let's see what I managed to do in this car. And as always, super nice to drive, can sometimes get a little sketchy at the rear and probably not the best over the bumps, but in general, really nice around the corners and that's why I scored a sort of 8 out of 10, um, really nice cornering car and you just feel like you can just attack the track and that's what I really like about the Audi. Um, I don't think it's really that much slower than it was before the patch, I think I managed a 47 no, not 40, 43.7 around here before the patch, so not too far off, and so far obviously it's the quickest car, but moving on to the Bentley, and this is a car that I like to drive in the last project car, so let's see what I managed to do.
and we only manage a 46-2. Um, pretty confusing because the car feels nice, it's good over curbs, but it's just it's just slow. I don't I don't understand it. It's not like it's sort of the Aston Martin and it's an old car, it's a 2016 car and to me it needs to be beefed up a little bit on this game. It needs to be up there for me with sort of the Audis and and stuff like that. Um, yeah, I, I just think they just need to upgrade the car because, to be honest, it's, it's, it's pretty average on this game. Um, moving on now to the BMW M6, which I haven't spent that much time in, but I have done a couple laps. Let's see what I managed to do. Obviously, this car's got lots of torque, pretty fast down the straights as well. Um, I would have given it a 7 out of 10 in handling, but I reckon on some tracks it's going to be a bit of a handful. Um, still managed a 45-3, so it's not the end of the world. Probably could have got it into the 44s with a bit more setup work, but in general, it's quite a nice car, very quick, and uh, it will be very quick at high altitude tracks as well because of the turbo. So, moving on to the BMW Z4, my old favourite from Project Cars 1. And <laughs> let's see how far we can go with this.
The Z4 surprisingly decent down the straight, um, 162 miles an hour. As always, it's a pretty nice handling car, but I really did have to mess around with the setup just to get it to handle the, the bumps and the curves because I was just dropping it left, right and centre every time I touched the curb and it wasn't really allowing me to attack, but still it's a, it's a nice handling car. I can imagine certain tracks is probably still still up there, probably can still battle some of the cars at the front, so um, yeah, it was quite surprising, but 45-0, pretty good for the Z4. And now moving on to the Cadillac, which I hardly ever drive um, for good reason. Um, but let's see how we go. We manage a 45.7, um, pretty quick down the straight. Um, the handling, I mean, it's a very steady car, but it just doesn't turn enough, and that, that's sort of that's sort of the car's biggest weakness. But I can imagine it being pretty quick around tracks like Monza, tracks like Zoo Highway, sort of stop-start long straights. And it's pretty rapid in a straight line, and it wasn't it wasn't actually too bad to be honest. It's very stable, and yeah, um, quite quite surprised to be honest. But now moving on to the Ferrari, the previously OP Ferrari. Let's see if they've managed to dumb the car down enough.
so yeah the Ferrari definitely been slowed down quite a bit um, down the straight so 163 miles an hour um, handling wise I thought it was the best handling car the cars planted you can nail the curbs and I mean you got to take your hats off to SMS because they've managed to improve the way the car feels without sort of making the car OP again so hats off to them guys um, and yeah I'm, this time I'm gonna put a bit of a a bit of a spin on the times that each car's got because obviously I feel I did about 20 laps probably in each car just trying to get the setup down and trying to ring the car out to its um, fullest potential so I'm going to put the theoretical best times for each car on the screen to see what I think what, what the car was capable of in, in my hands at its absolute limit and then we can sort of round the cars up to see how close they really are I mean there's certain corners where I made a few mistakes as you can see there in the Ferrari um, but in general I think it's close for me at the moment I would say around this track anyway um, the Audi definitely I think holds about a two or three tenth advantage in a race though I think it'd be very tight between the Audi and the Ferrari because the Ferrari just it's just nailed to the track so um, tomorrow I'll be trying the rest of the cars and hopefully we'll get some cars as close to the Audi and the Ferrari and see how it goes but other than that it's Cryptic TMG like and subscribe hit the notification bell peace